Hey guys, it's Raihan again. Um, wanted to do another video, this time talking specifically about like Excel sheets or Google Sheets and how to use those to um, help with behavior management, data collection, that kind of stuff. Sorry, this light is so, I mean, it's the sun, but it's like shining right on my face and it makes me look weird. But anyways, um, so on my Nagenius Labs page, I have um, a like sample chart that you can download. I'm redoing the website. So I think right now it says it's 10 cents, but I really want it to be free. So if if you want the template and I haven't fixed the website yet, just send me an email and I'll send you a link to the template, either an Excel form or the Google Drive version, whichever one you prefer. Um, but anyway, I'll get to showing you how to use it. Um, so, um, this is what the sheet should look like if you, um, download it from the website. Um, and this is a super, super simple behavior tracking thing. So this would be for, if you have one, uh, behavior that you're trying to track for the student and you're trying to track it by frequency. Um, so this would be appropriate for things that are like specific incidents. So it would be things like um, like number of times they left the classroom or number of times they got out of their seat without asking or um, something that is a specific, it's like frequency that you're tracking. This would not be an appropriate setup if you're trying to track like how much time it takes before they get started on their work or how many uh, minutes they can focus on their work for at once or things like that. This is just a frequency chart, trying to make it very simple. Um, you can see the first column, this is going to be your like keeping track of time, um, but you can do that for however it suits you and your student. Um, I just put as an example day or week and then I put, you know, random dates in there. Well, not random dates, it, it's consecutive days, but um, you could do this however you want. You could do like for the week and then um, like list what the week is and then count the frequency and then put it all in at once. Um, however you want to do it is fine. But anyway, so you would edit this however you want, click on it, you can change it to today's date. This I made this sheet a while ago. Um, nine, 2020. And sorry, I uh, put the day first, like ahead of the month. So if you're in the US, that probably looks really weird. But anyway, um, then this is the behavior frequency. Um, if I was using this for a student, I would list the behavior. So I would edit this and change behavior to say, um, uh, like shouting out or whatever the behavior is that you're trying to track. Um, and you can double click this thing to stretch that bar out if that bothers you having it like that and it does for me um, and then you would just change these so today let's say uh, Jimmy or whoever it was shouted out five times so you change it to five and you should have seen that as soon as I hit enter this spot on the graph changed um, let me show you I'm gonna delete a lot of these actually Actually, mm, I'll do it one by one. So I'll put tomorrow's date in there. Example. And then let's say tomorrow, because I can see into the future, uh, he's going to shout out 10 times. Boom. And you see how instantly 
that graph, the point on the graph changed. I have it on purpose linked so that this graph will automatically copy whatever is happening in here. And I did that because I thought that would be easier for you guys um, to follow. And then let me see. Ooh, I want to show you guys. So if you want to change the chart, that is possible. I don't want to get too much into it because like I said, I want this to really just be kind of like a basic thing. But if you have questions, obviously you can email me or message me. Um, but this is how you would do it. Is, so you'd right click, you go to format, and then these are the different drop downs for chart title. Like right now it just says student's name. So you would change this to like Billy or whatever, whoever it is. And once you do that and hit enter, it automatically changes on the chart. On the chart, I'm sorry. Um, I also have it set up so that the line is automatically labeled with whatever you have as your title for B. So you see how I changed this to shouting out frequency and it automatically changed it here. So whatever your title is here, that's what it's gonna be labeled with the graph as. Um, and so like I said, I'm not gonna go through all the examples, but you can go through um, these different things and, ch and ch change the chart however you want. You can also make it a totally different kind of chart um, like a bar graph or a pie chart, if that, I mean, it doesn't make sense really for this, but you know, um, but so that's a basic idea of how to do that. And then really quickly, I just want to show you also on Google Forms, because this is actually where I made it was Google Forms. I like using the Google Suite just because it's really convenient for, for me to have everything in the same area. and um, like if I'm working on it at home, I could just log into my Google suite and it's easier than having to like put things in um, USBs or, you know, keep track of stuff that way. I think it's much easier. Um, so here is what it would look like in Google suite. It's really almost identical um, and same idea. You would put whatever you want to keep track of the days in this first column. You put whatever your behavior is, you'd label it here and then change the frequency based on the day. Um, and it should automatically update for the chart. And just like with, um, with what you would call it, you can right click and then it shows up like this and you can click on these specific things and edit however you want. It'll show up when you click on one this pops up and then like you can use that. And then it's the same thing really, it's a drop down of the different things. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, I'll just show you on this one also, right? Like right now it's at eight and you can see if I change it to two, it automatically drops down and same with the other ones. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I mean, this would be really great for a lot of different things. Thank you. Um, it's good for, um, like, if you're doing conferences or you have an IEP meeting coming up or you want to just kind of get a feel for what the students, like, day-to-day -day like situation is, um, this can be really helpful. Um, and it's pretty easy to just edit the chart and then have the graph automatically fill in. Like I said, though, if you guys have any questions um, that are more specific or if you need um, a link to the free template, like I said, send me an email, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, and I will get that to you. And hopefully this helps out.